that's that's uh, under development, and a lot of people are already starting to use it to to have meetup groups. And uh, there was one meetup group in um, uh, Colorado Springs. Uh, Mike recently uh, he did a Law of One uh, talk at the Eclipse of Disclosure. He used this tool to organize people and go and do kind of like a protest at the at the local Air Force base. I was uh, I was being told by an Air Force contact, uh, Sigmund, that uh, he would appreciate it if I would tell my people to quit harassing his people. <laughs> and I denied it. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he looked at me like, you know, whatever. Well, later on I found out that Mike had um, they, I mean, he was very quiet. You would never expect him to be so gutsy. But him and a bunch of very quiet people got together and found their voice. And they began handing out information about the secret space program to Air Force personnel as they were going onto the base. And it caused a hell of a stir. You know, all these people were now asking, uh, do we have a secret space program? Uh, you know, and oh, yeah, it caused a big headache. But you know what? Sorry, Sigmund. We want to cause more headaches. We need to get a lot of these uh, very laid back, quiet people together and, uh, and find their voices like this small group did. This small group made a pretty big impact. <laughs> a very big impact. And it's only like five people, I think. Just, I mean, just imagine what we can do in our communities if we start doing things like that. Even putting uh, information about uh, a secret space program on a, uh, a magnet sign and sticking it on the side of your car and driving around town. You know, people are sitting in traffic and we look over and like, what? And they'll look on their phones, you know, and, and start finding out information. There's, there are a lot of ways. Roger started the Full Disclosure Project and a lot of the people that I talked to, they're like, well, I don't quite believe how you do, so um, I don't know if I can work towards the same goal. You know, it's it just, I, if, if I do, people are going to say, oh, I'm agreeing with this guy that talks to eight foot tall blue birds, and that's just too weird. You know, forget that. We don't have to fight under the same flag. We can all carry our own individual flags. You know, we, we have groups come together, full disclosure project. Um, all, a lot of these different projects that are like cells, and these cells are coming together and developing a plan on how to force the powers that be, or that hopefully that won't be for long, to reveal the information about these technologies. So fulldisclosureproject.org, if you want to uh, uh, contribute your skills or ideas, we are all ears. We're ready. And the more of us that we can come, have come together, um, you know, the better. There, uh, we have people come in all the time that have different perspectives that that we never would have had on our own. And then we have, you know, Full Disclosure Now. That's another group that, that uh, came together. And of course, Cosmic Disclosure and uh, the uh, various whistleblower information that's coming out is, is very helpful. But again, you need to approach my information and everyone else's information with heavy discernment. Because, like I said, all of us have these lenses, distorted lenses. and we're receiving information through those lenses, but we're also projecting it through those lenses. So information that comes from anyone is going to be distorted in some way. And uh, it's, it, I mean, it's good to, to be aware of that about yourself, that you know, we see information coming from other people is possibly distorted, but information that are coming, that's coming from our own mouth, we see that as being more reliable. We need to understand that we're pretty much all in the same boat. You know, so uh, approaching myself, all these other whistleblowers with discernment is extremely important.